Baked by this? Well, it's a good question, too, because, you know, long term is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, long term, for some people, maybe five years. Other people, that's in the short term. Some right. people say long term is 20 years. We're in such an uncharted waters right now that we don't know. We do know that for a period of time, I would say within the next five years, spending by the consumers, American consumers, as well as, as, a, as international consumers, people that visit us, is going to be much lower than it was during what I call the Gilded Age of Las Vegas, which was 95 through 2005. So we're all going to go through a period of relatively slow growth compared to what we've seen in the past. And we just need to understand and adjust our mm -hmm. business strategies, our tax policies, all those sorts of things based on that economy. So if you think that that our recovery could potentially leg a national recovery up to two years. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you think then that the national recovery, well, some experts are saying a national rebound will happen late this year, going through uh, what mid 2010, right? We're looking at up to mid 2012 that's for correct. Las Vegas. That's that correct. Some sort of bump up then. That's correct, and that's not including or factoring in a couple of other things that have been more recently being talked by some of the analysts. You know, when uh, you watch the news uh, on TV, uh, cable, and, and regular news, and that is um, network news, and that is the two pending other shoes to drop, so to speak. The commercial foreclosure issue that's been talked about a bit here, and we haven't seen it quite yet, that. And the bigger one that some analysts are even more, are more current, concerned about than com or commercial real estate foreclosures is the large wave of credit card defaults mm -hmm. that are pending out there. So there's a couple of other things sitting out there. I'm not sure all the shoes have dropped yet. Hopefully the next shoes that drop won't be as hard as the, the ones we've seen, but it, we have some things still ahead of us. What do you think about the local housing market? Um, uh, Gil, Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors came out with their numbers today mm -hmm. uh, in terms of August sales. Median resales down to 135.5, down a bit. I, I think July was 138.8, mm -hmm. something like that, or 138 and change. So a dip in, in median resale, a dip in the number of homes sold. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, what's your crystal ball in the housing market here? Again, you know, it's a, you know, I've been in the forecasting business for 30 years, and it's probably not been as cloudy as it is today. But I, I would venture to say until, again, sort of like employment, we see at least six months of median house price improvement. That's median combined, both resales and new combined. That, that, that blended number, if you want to call it. At least six months of improvement. We're not out of the woods yet, and we're not seeing those numbers improve dramatically, uh, we, any improvement at all yet. But Very little. A reduction right. in the rate of decline. But even with the, the uh, amelior, amelioration of, of, the, of the decline in your foreign decay mm -hmm. that you saw, I mean, my, my gut tells me that we've not found a floor yet here. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and, and well, that's absolutely right. Now, we've seen massive improvements in the rate of sales, monthly sales, absorption, as we call it, is doing very, very well. And you need absorption first before the housing prices right. start stabilizing. So that's that's working in our favor. It's yet to be reflected in housing prices. And yes, and you're right, uh, the other uh, bit of information that's out that I didn't mention earlier, Deutsche Bank just did a study, and this is on a national basis, that shows that in 2011, 2012, and I think we mentioned this in the newsletter, there's a wave of uh, 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 mortgage resets, the all-day loans. And and some of these uh, alternative, uh, I mean, adjustable rate mortgages are, are set to reset to other interest rates. We don't know what there's going to be. And so depending on where that goes, it could cause a, 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 a continuation of some of this foreclosure problem. You also wear another hat, and that's here on the State Economic Forum. Right. Um, uh, talk again that, that we may need another special session. Uh, I think the... Uh, the latest taxable sales numbers I saw, I think, were for June, I think. June, I think so. June, yeah. uh, down more than 20% statewide, right. uh, which uh, uh, didn't quite meet your forecasts. Uh, I thought you th I think the Economic Forum thought things would be a little bit better than what they actually turned yeah, out I to think, be. Yeah, I think we, we were off by like a couple of percent. We were about off by maybe 1%, but yeah, we were a bit off. Yeah. Uh, do you think that another special session uh, is inevitable in the next several months here? You know, that's kind of a public policy decision. I would think if they keep tumbling the way they are now, and we were pretty conservative. Uh, I think we're going to see uh, some more tumbling, depending on the rate of that decline. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they could have a special session, which means I assume at some point, although no one's talked to me, they may call us back at the, as, a, as the Economic Forum to meet one last time. Our terms end essentially at the end of December, I believe, and to meet one more time to revisit our forecast. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the, the economy, um, you know, Recoveries have different shapes. You could have a V-shape, you could have a U-shape recovery, you could have a double V, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, do you think whatever recovery we have here, we're probably now looking at a U with a kind of an extended bottom? Yeah, I've called it the elongated Nike swoosh recovery. So it's going to be more flatter 
and uh, and it's going to and 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 we're going to come out of it. It's going to be very interesting. Which we haven't seen in Southern Nevada in a long time. And I mentioned this in our newsletters that I mentioned before in a couple of other places. And that is that we may see a jobless recovery, in that. The unemployment rate stabilizes at some point. But aren't we already uh, seeing that, though? I mean, it, well, we have, we're not. We're, we're, no, we're not even seeing that yet because we're losing right. jobs. Well, right. Okay. We may reach a point where, we've, where job losses flatten out, but they flatten out at a 10% unemployment rate for an extended period of time instead of a 5%. Right. So that's what's typically known as a jobless recovery. So we, we're, we're potentially seeing that. again. We're in such uncharted waters. We don't know what what's going to happen, other than we think. Uh, we can be comfortable in thinking how unfortunately we're going to come out of this a lot slower than the national average. Wow. Again, because of the diversification of the economy. That's one of the challenges. Right. John Reserpo, we're out of time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it.